Daphne O'Neill Spenner both on here again and it's Champions Cup season 20 team preview and today's team we are previewing actually plays his, his playoff game in about 45 minutes and it's his debut. It's uh, Thaz Boys um, coached by, okay, I can't even pronounce that, Enema 99. That's as good as you're going to get. Um, so it's enough, one of the two Oak teams. Ironically, both Oak teams finished on the exact same um, rankings in wins, draws, losses, and everything. Well, it was quite bizarre. Uh, but let's have a look at the team. Um, no chair leaders, three team re rolls, uh, one apothecary, no co assistance. Uh, 1790 TV, 150k um, in the bank. Um, Club wise, he's got security gear. Statistics 23 wins, seven draws, five losses. And um, this is a guy. Um, I played and lost 1-0 and it was, it was the game where I, I ended up couldn't believe I'd lost the game I felt robbed <laughs> by the dice uh, it felt like a playoff loss that's how bad it felt um, but one thing I was impressed with him was his positioning he positioned very very well and that's probably why he's got such a good record um, he beat the Hateful Dead 2-1 uh, um, he lost the height is 2-0 uh, lost to Matt Apatolo 2-0 uh, beat me 1-0 um, who else has he played beat Flu Qualification 1-0 there I think them two had, had a clash I think they both ended up beating each other um, on that uh, he also stuffed the Wonder Woman's Amazon 3-1 as well there so you know he's got uh, uh, some decent um, uh, wins under his belt there and um, when, when I was looking at which which um, player to pick as the his main player, in the end I went for number three, Tockney. Um, he's the frenzy, might blow a pal on Blitter with tackle. So obviously he's going to be around the back of being the enforcer, and he will do most of the grunt work to get the removals needed, or to hunt down any um, like bludger what gets through the line. And obviously with him having frenzy as, as a good option of trying to serve players as well. I do believe that this team has. Lost a few more pieces since I last last saw it. I could be wrong, but they don't look as powerful as it once was. But again, you know the coach has done very well. I don't know the coach personally. To my knowledge, this is his first um, attempt in the playoffs. Um, Thirteen players, seventy nine TV. It ain't bad. Um, is this as good as Tripress's Orcs? Not really sure if they are. Um, but it's stand. I mean, the, the problem with orcs is they're they're never very sexy anyway. They're very they never have any really sexy stats or anything. They're just very very normal. Um, nothing really exciting. If 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 orc teams are very exciting, then you're probably doing them wrong. Um, but yeah, I mean, he's got the guard where he wants. He's got the standard block. He only has two tackle pieces. Sorry, three tackle pieces. And I think number three is the, the key play there. Because obviously with him having friends, it's where he opens up a lot of options. He's just got to make sure he doesn't friends to trap himself. Um, Mognik with friend fair skill. Don't know what that's all about. Really don't know why. Because he's not AV7, is he? You know, he's AV9. So it's like, um, why are you giving him friend first up? Seems very, very odd um, decision to me. Um, and obviously he's got this Black Oak who needs, obviously, a, a skill as well. Um, so, you know, 12 fan factor, good on the fan factor there as well. It's a bog standard oak team. It's solid. It does what it's supposed to. Um, but, it, you know, I've seen, I've, I've, it doesn't stand out to me as going to win the thing. Uh, but again, is against uh, Random Mad um, Kemri. Um, first round of that game, to my knowledge, gets played in about 40 minutes. Um, see if we can find him on here there he is and he's actually my side of the draw so obviously um if he if he was to beat um the Kemri, then he'd go up against uh kislev or um vamps and then on the other side obviously we've got dark elves um lizards uh, nagel and uh, undead so it's it's an intriguing top half that um a lot of pressure on thaz boys people expect him to deliver against random ads uh, Kemri. But you know, Kem, the, you know, Random Mad's a decent coach himself, and he's, he, to my knowledge, he's got some decent guard as well. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I've got the, I've got, I've got the mixed up. It was, it was the other Kemri team on decent guard. He's still got two. He's still got a, a killer as well, and he's got a strength four piece. So, you know, it'd be an interesting game, but I'd, I'd expect Thaz boys to win that one.
um, being honest. Um, well, let me just go back to them there. But they are 1790, so obviously Rand will get um, extra inducements to spend on what he wishes. But uh, yeah, it's, like I said, they're never really exciting other York teams if they're built right. They're, they're basically block, guard, bit of stamp firm in there. Uh, and some mighty blow and that's really it that's really how you do them he's got a throw in there uh, there's always the debate over the throwers um you know it, 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 they're very slight they, they do all right when they're well developed but when you come to the playoffs and it's like oh look his movement five no skills is more of a hindrance than anything else i think personally um he obviously will be desperate to try and get a, a casualty on that black hawk so he can get a level up and again this black hawk's only one off so he could probably get guide with that one as well so you know there's a few here what you know are not far off a level up and he'll obviously be trying to get skills on them but like i said i don't like number seven at all really don't get what that's all about um if you're gonna go down the let's put fend on the line then he started way too late for, for that sort of a uh, tactic um you know but yeah, like I said, to my knowledge, it, unless it's a different account, he's used a different account before, this is his first ever um, uh, playoff, so congratulations for making the playoffs. Um, his team's solid enough for him to go quite far. It'll be interesting how he handles the, the first round, and um, all the best to him.